Hey and welcome back. Uh, we're now here in Photoshop and here we have our um, texture of the our model with his head down so we have a really nice view of this part of his forehead. Um, so it's this region here which we're going to be creating a tileable out of for the rest of his scalp um, because it's probably the closest thing uh, we have. So this is what's going to be replacing all the region of his where, where his hair should be on our um, for our texturing. So to do this, I'm going to grab, I'm going to zoom in to the general area. Then I'm going to use the crop tool, hold down Shift and click and drag. And that's going to drag out a perfect square. Now, okay, to stop this from happening, all all it is is it's um, Photoshop having an issue with 32 bit. So let's set it to 16 and set this to exposure and gamma, hit OK, and then let's try again. So we'll drag out, holding down shift, and there we go, we don't have that issue. So it's just due to Photoshop having a problem with 32-bit, a 32-bit image. So I'm going to get a general region here. It doesn't matter that we're catching a bit of hair um, up the top here, but yeah, I'm just going to grab a general region and hit enter. So these are pretty big images. So if we go to image, image size, you can still see that this is 866 pixels, which is still quite big for a tileable, considering we're gonna be tiling this. Um, okay, so the way I create tileables is I go to the image size, gives me 866, then I open up my calculator, and then I type in 866 divided by two. That gives me 433. So then I can cancel this. Remembering 433, I can go to filter, other offset, and then set this to 433, 433, and hit okay. So basically what this has done is it's taken what was originally the corners of our image and put all those corners in the center. So now we can see that this image would not have been tileable. Like we've got these lighter tones here and we've got hair over here and you can see these really harsh lines. So what I generally do to get rid of these is I use uh, this brush. I mean this tool, it's the stamp tool. So I then go to my brushes and I get a nice big soft brush for my stamp tool. Make the brush a little smaller. And then you just hold down Alt and tap somewhere Alt tap. Okay, it would just had an issue there, but Alt tap in a region, and then I can start painting this out. And I just like to select from different regions. Don't do the whole thing from one region, otherwise you'll end up getting a a bit of a weird um, result. So by grabbing from different regions, you're going to get um, more variety, basically. which is good. It'll give you a more realistic result. I'm also trying to remove all of the hair that we have. Um, you can still see a bit of a strip here. So I'm just gonna grab some from up here. I'm gonna make the brush a little smaller. To make the, uh, changing my brush size, I'm using the square bracket keys, which are um, just below the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. Um, and this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna zoom in. And you can see I've still got some messiness up here, so I'm gonna go back to the stamp brush, hold down Alt, tap, and then fill that area in. But yeah, you just wanna be, I just try to be mindful to use um, as much of these four regions as possible when removing the, uh, the seams. So now I can go back to filter, other, offset, and then hit okay. And you can see we've now created a couple of new seams. We've got one here. You can see a bit of one here. Over here it's okay. And down here there's a little bit of hair to clean up. Um, so we'll go back to the same stamp brush. Alt tap and then fill that in quickly. Over here, Alt tap, fill that in. Um, we're fine over here. And then up here we'll go Alt tap. I'll make the brush a little smaller. Fill that in, Alt tap over here for this area. And there we go. So now this should be pretty solid. This little, um, this patch here is kind of bothering me. 
So I might just try and reduce that by grabbing an area down here, filling that in a bit. I just felt like that would stand out. I'm just gonna do one more test and go filter offset. It'll remember what I'd plugged in before. And this looks this looks fine to me. Um, still got a bit of an issue here. So I'll just fill that in. But apart from that, I think we are good. So filter, other, offset to go back to the original, hit OK. And now we can save this. So I'm gonna go file, save as. I guess I could just save it here as a JPEG. And you can see I already have a scalp here, AO1. I'm gonna create this one as AO2. Uh, hit save. And there we go, that's how you create a tileable. We'll end up doing this when we go through the displacement as well. Um, I may show you one more time when we're doing that process, but it will be the exact same process as I showed you here. So, yep. So now I'll, um, for the next chapter, I'm gonna hop back into Mari and we're gonna assign this as a, uh, as a tileable map, which we can then map onto the scalp. So see you there. If you found this tutorial helpful, uh, I've got a Gumroad where this whole tutorial series exists where I go through the whole process of creating well, texturing a realistic skin as well as uh, doing the look development. So yeah, if you're interested in that at all, hop on over to the link which will be below in the comments and uh, yeah, see, see if it's for you or if it's not, maybe you'll find something else there which catches your interest.